Hey guys, so in this video, we are moving on to our next challenge. This is what we worked on last time. Um, ability to print out hello world onto the screen. All right, so that's all done. So if we go back into our path on track, we have this too far. Basically it prints a message, uh, one for X, one for me. So where X is a given name, if X is missing, it will print one for you, one for me. So if Alex is given, it will say one for Alex, one for me. If Bob is given, one for Bob, one for me. If nothing is given, one for you, one for me. And then if Zafford is given, it's one for Zafford, one for me. All right, so that is cool. Let's go ahead and download. Okay, so now I have it, CD into two fur. Open up in my text editor. All right, so let's have a look at the test and let's have a look at our implementation. Okay, that's fine. So here we are basically going to be calling this function and it will print that. And when Alice is given, it will print that. And when Bob is given, it will print that. So that's what we are going to do, all right? So in here, it's going to be an if statement, right? So if a name is given, print something right um, or return something else go ahead and return something else <clears throat> all right so that's that's in my thinking that's what i'm imagine i'm going to do so i'm going to go ahead and copy this out all right paste it in here paste it in here as well so when name is given, we want to change this to become that name that was given, else go ahead and return this. All right, so for this name to actually work, we need to use something called string interpolation. And there are a few ways of doing it in Python I found. So you could use F string, you could use that, you could use string format. All right, so I'm gonna stick with this one here. So basically put an F in front of my string and wrap my variable in curly brackets. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now if name is given, that name will show up there. If no name is given, it will basically print one for you, one for me. Let's run our test. And the test fails, missing one required argument. All right, so our test has nothing in here and our function requires something. So we need to default. So if no name is given, we want to return nothing. So uh, an empty string or a none. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And now our test pass. So now that we have all green, it's time to refactor, see what we can improve. And looking at this here, we could probably um, use rather than default to string, I can default to you, all right? So that way, if no name is given, it will print you. And if a name is given, it will print the name that was given. So that means I can reduce this to just this one line. So name will be you if no name is supplied or it will be Bob or whatever else is given to it. All right, so this is fine. Save and run your test again. And if it all goes green, it means the refactoring went well. So I think that's it, guys. Let's go ahead and submit. Okay, enter the path, uh, not to the test, but to the actual file itself. Okay, refresh this page. All right, so it's, it's submitted, but we have to wait for somebody to approve this, uh, for a mentor to approve this. Sometimes it's done um, automatically, um, but this hasn't gone through just yet. So I'm just going to refresh the page. Let's, let me go and have a look here. And it's approved. Okay, let's go back, it's all done. This was automatically approved. That's cool. So that's it guys, we've done this one. So let's, um, hey, and we've unlocked more to work on. Okay, so let's have a look at what people have done. So this is where 
I plan to learn a lot more about Python just by reading other people's code. So this is exactly as we've done it. It's good, good. Have a look at this. This is used a different way of formatting. So it calls the format on the string, which is awesome. Have a look at this as well. So dot format takes um, index zero. So the first argument in there, and this is if not name, go ahead and print this. If name if name exists, then go ahead and print it with the name. And okay, so here this person has left the print statements there that they've used for testing out their code. Awesome. So basically go ahead and have a look and explore other people's code and learn from it. Wherever if you come across dot format, Google it, Python format function, etc. So that's done. Uh, we have uh, three new unlocked ones that we're going to do. So we'll be looking at, we have more down there, fun stuff to come. So this is the next one I'm guessing that we're going to be working on. But that will be for another video. All right, guys, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video.